Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. We appreciate you coming back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. And for any of you who tuned in last week, I had mentioned that a few of the upcoming videos, which this is the second of those videos, were going to be shot in a little bit of a different style. I know that you guys are used to me always interacting with chili inside of the playpen. These videos, you're still going to get some of chili inside of the playpen, just a little bit less of me, which I'm sure is a welcomed break, but that is what you can expect. I just didn't want anybody to be like, whoa, this is completely different than his usual videos. There is a reason behind it. You can see that on last Thursday's video, but just been a little bit more tough for me to always get in there with her just because of a few other things that have been going on, but it actually makes for a perfect video for today's topic, which is how often do you need to be playing with your chinchilla? How often do they need to be getting out of that cage? What do you have to put on your shoulders as a new chinchilla owner to make sure that they are getting the socialization, the happiness, the exercise, etc., in order for them to thrive, be happy, and just be the chinchilla they were meant to be? That is what this video is all about, so stick around and we'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, you know how I roll. Before diving into this video, we love to give you the opportunity to like the video, even though you haven't seen it yet. It seems a little silly to go after that like right now, but hey, why not? If you know you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified on Tuesdays and Thursdays when those new videos come out. And please let us know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys want. Every now and then I hit a point where I'm like, man, I don't know what to make these guys this week or it's not that I'm running out of content just sometimes I have a brain fart and that's how it works so if you guys have questions if you want to see something specific if you want to see Chili doing something stupid let us know in those comments down below we love to hear from you we love communicating with you guys make sure to do that last reminder make sure you guys are checking out planetchinchilla.com. I am kind of shocked at how many people are subscribers to the channel or part of one of the communities of this whole brand that haven't been to the website, don't even know it exists. So head over to planetchinchilla.com and also check out our newest ebook download. It is over 100 pages long. It is for new chinchilla owners, step-by-step, -step, everything you need to know. This thing is packed full of value. It will give you all of the tips and tricks that you need to know. And right now, if you go check it out, we will give you 50% off using promo code CHINCARE50. So C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E 50. Type that in when you go to the checkout page. It will shave five bucks off, making the cost of the ebook only $5 total. And if you don't have $5 to spend to take care of one of these awesome chinchillas, you probably shouldn't be spending a couple hundred dollars on a chinchilla anyways. Anyways, link will be directly below the URL, and then the actual clickable link will be in the description below or somewhere up above here. But for now, let's go ahead and start diving into how often you need to be playing with your chinchilla and how often you need to be getting them out of the cage. All right, guys, so here is the deal with how often you need to be playing with your chinchilla and how often you need to be getting them out of the cage. As much as you can, but don't overdo it and don't overthink it. So you just adopted your chinchilla and you're like man I just I don't have the time today okay that's fine don't get them out today your goal should be daily for a little bit if it's possible but none of us are gonna sit here and act like we don't have lives to live and that things don't come up so if it doesn't happen today no big deal If it doesn't happen next Wednesday no big deal you don't need to try and make up for it by doing an hour long you know rat race with them the next week just do what you can get these guys adopt these guys if you truly want one if you can dedicate some time to them if you can provide them a safe loving home if you can give them a cage that makes sense that's whenever all of this comes together and that bond can be formed i'm going to go ahead and direct the footage over real quick and start talking while chili dances around in her playpen okay guys so Chili is obviously just having some fun right now in the playpen, and that is kind of the point that I wanted to make, is that I have things going on right now that I needed to tend to around the house. I had other obligations I needed to take care of, but 
I could set up her dust bath. I could put some oats in there, which you'll see here in just a few seconds. But I could just use this Jess Pet 61 inch playpen to let her safely interact in a room, get out of the cage, take her dust bath, and still have some fun jumping around, running around, having a few treats, and it worked out just fine. So never feel like you have to always be front and center with them the entire time. It's just not how it works, and you can relax more with your tactics you use to get these guys out of the cage. And it makes it way less stressful if you adopt these kind of attitudes towards it and just make sure that they do get some time out for exercise etc anyways just wanted to make that clear that i am not always in there with her i know i shoot a lot of videos inside of that playpen with her but again get them out let them do their thing you don't always have to be there it is not a big deal don't stress about it she is still having a blast Okay guys, another tip I have for you about getting these guys out, the demanding schedule that you might be worried about is build a routine. If you can't do it at night, don't try and do it at night. These guys are also very active in the mornings. Pick a routine, stick to it. If it's 20 minutes long, awesome. If you need to shorten the duration up, like you were going for 40 minutes when you first adopted them, but you're like, I just don't have that kind of bandwidth anymore, Shorten it up, go down to 20 or 30 minutes. We just discussed about how you could even get the playpen, that Jess Pet 61 inch playpen you just saw her interacting in. That is an awesome way to get them out, let them get some exercise, let them dive into the oats like you just saw her doing, let them roam around safely in a proof playpen without you having to devote all of the time. That doesn't mean you should just leave them in there all day long and forget about them. But it does mean that if you have other things to do, you could put them in there for a half hour, 45 minutes, pop your head in every now and then, you're good to go. They're not going to go anywhere. I've never had her jump out of it. Well, actually once in one video not too long ago, you'd have to go, I don't remember what video it was, but she did almost actually jump out of it and I did not have that room proof, so that would have sucked. But anyways, it's still an awesome method. So the tip that I just gave to recap, shorten the durations, make it Another tip guys is load the cage with some accessories. If you can't get them out all the time, you would be shocked at how happy a chichilla can be not coming out of the cage every day if you can provide them with A, the correct cage, and B, the correct accessories, and lots of them. These accessories are cheap. I mean, we're talking for like high-end chinchilla accessories. You're looking at like 12 bucks the hanging toys that are safe for them to chew, the nest box, hiding box, the um, the chin spin 15 inch wheel must have, I will link that into the description below because that thing is awesome. It's quiet, it lasts forever, the chin spin for sure. Because that'll get them some exercise too, sitting there going around in circles. Um, other chewable, the wood apple orchard sticks, um, other tunnels and ledges. Make sure that there's plenty of ledges for them to jump. They just need to move. They need to be around some kind of noise with you in the home. They need to kind of feel some love, have that socialization. But if you can load that cage up with accessories, especially a good size cage, my recommendation on that is the Midwest Critter Nation 2 dual level, not single level, dual. So they have all four platforms to go up and down. I will link that in the description below as well. But if you can provide that, you are not going to have to get them out every second of the day or even every day for them to stay happy. Sorry for the pen, I had some notes I was taking a little bit ago to make sure I gave you guys plenty of good information in this video. But that is an important tip to remember. Load the cage up, get them the accessories that they need, deserve, that make them happy that they can chew safely and you will not need to get them out as often if you can't. However, the double-edged sword of this is don't think that you can buy your way out of never interacting with these guys. If that's your plan, don't adopt one. You don't need a chinchilla where you go buy a $200 cage, another $100 in accessories that just sits there, never comes out and that you never pet, talk to, 
it doesn't make any sense. Like, why spend the money? Unless you just want a chinchilla farm in a bedroom. I don't know why you would... There's no point. So don't do that either. But do use accessories to your advantage to make sure that they stay mentally stimulated, moving around exercise-wise with something like that chin spin, and just living their lives the way that they would even in the wild, where they could roam, jump, and move freely. The only difference is now you're keeping them safe and they're not being hunted. Last little nugget of advice I want to give you guys is just do what you can. If you really want a chinchilla, if you are just dead set on getting a chinchilla and you know it's been a couple weeks and you're like, ugh, I haven't been able to do this, haven't been able to do that, I feel bad. Listen, you got 15, 20, 20 plus years with these guys. You have plenty of time to build a bond with them, plenty of times to get them out and do crazy stuff with them. Keep it safe, do what you can, show them some love, stop stressing about it. Go get them out right now instead of watching these YouTube videos. Hang out with them. Even if you don't get them out, talk to them through the cage. I got my chinchilla. Her cage is right next to my work desk. If there's a day I can't get her out, I do not stress about it. Yes, it doesn't make me feel a little bad, maybe, but I know that I do what I can with her. I clean her cage. I provide her the accessories. She is fed the correct diet. I talk to her. I pet her. My son has played with her. We play with her in the playpen. We give her a safe and loving home that's not in a pet store and that is in my book what you need to be focused on doing don't overthink this guys if you want one go get one today have fun with it do what you can and trust me it's worth doing i was hesitant at first as well but she is part of the family now i mean we have a youtube channel on her i have a website on her it's a lot of fun just stop stressing about it and have a good time with it and guys that is about all i've got for you today we appreciate you greatly for stopping by the channel we always have we always will the subscribers we have we appreciate if you're not a subscriber and you do enjoy this content give me and chili that thumbs up now subscribe to the channel so that you can watch these videos every tuesdays and thursdays we will always try and answer all the questions we can for you we always try not to miss these videos unless something comes up like last week when we were on vacation, but subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you're notified when the new videos come out. And again, drop us some comments on the kind of videos you want to see. This is all to help you guys as well. It's not just so I can get on camera and look like an idiot when Chili does something I don't think she's going to do. We want to help you guys out. So if you have a specific question, be like, yo, Josh, can you do a video on this? I bet you the next week that video would be there. Unless there was already a video made for it, of course, we'd push it back. But I promise you, we will make those videos. We will answer those questions. And again, head over to planetchinchilla.com. URL should be displaying somewhere down below my finger here. Go check out that ebook. The link you could type into the address bar should be coming up down below. And the link will be in the description below. The Critter Nation cage, the chin spin 15 inch, the Jess Pet 61 inch playpen. All of those links will also will be in the description below for you. Again, we appreciate you guys greatly. We will see you again on the next video. Thank you for stopping by and take care. Mm -hmm.